Oh hey guys, it's Yin Yang Fan here, and welcome back to Marvel Elimination Season 10. Last time, Lime got eliminated, we did the Marvel Tournament Challenge, the Shining Stars won, and the Glowing Knights are up for elimination. Now let's go to the Elimination Center. Okay Glowing Knights, let's get to the immunity votes. Slime, Gold, Galaxy, Apricot, Bluebell, Cyan, Crystal, Navy, Metal, Sky, Light Blue, Chocolate, Rainbow, and Tan, got no votes. Cherry, Serpent, and Maroon, got one vote. Purple, and Aqua, got three votes. And Mars wins immunity with four votes. Now let's get to the elimination votes. Apple. Lemon, Night Sky, Bumblebee, Strawberry, Yellow, and Fully Transparent Brown have immunity, so they're safe. Slime, Apricot, Bluebell, Purple, Cyan, Crystal, Navy, Aqua, Serpent, Sky, Light Blue, Rainbow, Mars, and Maroon are all safe with no votes. Metal and Cherry are both safe with one vote. Gold is safe with two votes. But Galaxy, Chocolate and Tan are all tied at three votes each. So let's spin the wheel to decide how we're going to break the tie. And the tiebreaker is... A marble race. Okay, so Galaxy, Chocolate and Tan will simply have a race to the end of the course. And since this is a double elimination, the first one to finish will be safe while the other two will be eliminated. So three, two, one, go! And the one that is safe is Tan. So that means Chocolate and Galaxy are eliminated. Time to throw Galaxy and Chocolate into the container of doom. You're up first, Galaxy. And last but not least is you, Chocolate. I missed. Let's throw you in again. Okay, contestants, your next challenge is Monopoly. And I don't even need to bother explaining the rules. Everybody knows how to play Monopoly. So the rules are simple. Each team starts with £1,500 divided into the following. Two 500s, four 100s, 150, 120, two 10s, 15, and five ones. And all they've got to do is bankrupt the other team. The team that bankrupts the other team wins. So, the glowing knights are the top hat, and the shining stars is the duck. So, 
I'm going to roll these two dice. And whoever gets the highest roll will go first. So let's start with the glowing knights. Eight. And the shining stars. Three. So that means the glowing knights go first. Nine. They landed on Pentonville Road, and they decide to buy it for £120. Okay, now it's the Shining Star's turn. Eleven. Pall Mall. And they decide to buy it for £140. Okay, now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Seven. Bow Street. And they decided not to buy it. Also, if they land on a property space, they have the option to buy it or not. There won't be any auctions here. Anyways, now it's the Shining Star's turn. Nine. Free parking. Okay, now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Five. Strand. And they decide to buy it for £220. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Seven. Conventry Street. And they decide to buy it for £260. Okay, now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Eight. Piccadilly. And they decide to buy it for £280. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Ten. Park Lane. And they decide to buy it for £350. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Nine. Super Tap. So, if they land, if they have to pay a tax or f or a community chess card or chance card fee, the money will go in the middle of the board, and whoever lands on free parking will get all that money in the middle of the board. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Eight. And since the Shining Stars pass go, they get £200 as a salary. And they landed on King's Cross Station. I guess they used the money they gained from Go to buy it then? Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Six. Income tax. Even though they get £200 from passing go, that £200 goes in the middle of the board. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Five. Just visiting. Wait a minute, they aren't visiting anyone. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Ten. Northumberland Avenue. And they decide to buy it for £160. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Five. Marylebone Station. And they decided not to buy it. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Ten.
Trafalgar Square. And they decide to buy it for £240. And since the Glowing Knights roll a double, they get to go again. However, if they roll three doubles in a row, then they have to go to jail. They can't pass co, they can't collect £200. Seven. Regent Street. And they decide not to buy it. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Seven. Chance. Let's see. Advance to Mayfair. And will the Shining Stars buy Mayfair? Absolutely. So now, the Shining Stars have a complete dark blue set. Sixteen turns later. Okay, so it looks like the Glowing Knights have seven properties and a Get Out of Jail free card, while the Shining Stars have nine properties, and it looks like the Shining Stars don't have much money left. So, now it's the Glowing Knights' turn. Seven. Waterworks. And it looks like the Shining Stars own this utility. However, since the Shining Stars own both utilities, that means the Glowing Knights will have to pay ten times the amount they rolled. So that means the Glowing Knights will have to give the Shining Stars £70. And now it's the Shining Stars' turn. Six. Coventry Street. And they own this property. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Four. Oxford Street. And they decide to buy it for £300. And since the Glowing Knights roll doubles, they get to go again. And it looks like they're starting to run out of money too. But they're just about to reach go. So... Three. Liverpool Street Station. However, the Glowing Knights don't have enough money to buy this station. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Seven. Bond Street. And it looks like they don't have enough money to buy this property. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Five. And they landed right on go. So they get £200. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Four. Super Tat. 12 turns later. Okay, so the Glowing Knights have recovered a bit, thanks to that £500 they earned from free parking. So, now it's the Glowing Knights' turn. 3. Liverpool Street Station. And they decide to buy it for £200. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Eight. Fleet Street. And they own this property. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Nine. Income Tax. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Six. Piccadilly, and the Glowing Knights own this property, so the Shining Stars will have to give the Glowing Knights £24. Now it's the Glowing Knights turn. Nine. 
white hall. And they decided not to buy this property. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Six. Liverpool Street Station. And the Glowing Knights own a station. Since the Glowing Knights own two stations, the Shining Stars will have to give the Glowing Knights £50. Okay, now it's the Glowing Knights' turn. Six. Vine Street. And they decide to buy it for £200. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Six. Old Kent Road. And they decided not to buy this property. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Five. Trafalgar Square. And they own this property. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Six. Chance. Let's see. Make general repairs on all your properties. For each house, pay £25. For each hotel, pay £100. Thankfully, the Shining Stars didn't build any houses or hotels, so they don't have to pay anything. Now it's the Glowing Knight's turn. Six. Oh no, they have to go to jail. Now it's the Shining Star's turn. Five. Electric Company. And they own this utility. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. It looks like the Glowing Knights have gone bankrupt, so that means the Shining Stars win, and the Glowing Knights are up for elimination. Again. Okay, so Mars has immunity, therefore you cannot vote for him. So you can vote for Slime, Apple, Gold, Lemon, Night Sky, Bumblebee, Strawberry, Apricot, Bluebell, Yellow, Purple, Cyan, Crystal, Navy, Metal, Aqua, Cherry, Serpent, Sky, Light Blue, Rainbow, Fully Transparent Brown, Tan, or Maroon, to be eliminated and to win immunity. Voting ends on September 27th.